Welcome back to Debt Haters. My name is Alina and my husband and I hate our six figure student loan debt and we're on a journey to pay it off. Today's budget with me is our income from October 6th, taking us through October 12th. And so I say hog wild <laughs> mainly because I live in the South and I personally like like Southern words and phrases and I just think it's hilarious. Fun facts. I grew up in the South, mostly, but my mom, she was in the military, and she is actually from, like, the Northeastern area, so she doesn't have an accent, she doesn't, you know, she wasn't saying, like, Southern stuff, you know, at home, so I don't have it either, I don't have the accent, I don't say the Southern stuff, except now, so hog wild. <laughs> so yeah, last week we spent more than we should, um, and... We'll just have to do what we can this week, you know, with this budget, and we'll have to make up for that overspending in next week's income. Um, so what I'm talking about specifically, we're just going to kind of chat a minute to, you know, just be transparent here. The budget from last week didn't go exactly how I planned it. So I'll show you some pictures, a video, or something like that. So that $20 birthday became a $40 birthday my kids made a scavenger hunt for me and then we played like three games straight of monopoly that's what they wanted <laughs> and then we went to a corn maze which was fun and actually a little scary you know at the same time i mean it was in the middle of the day you know it was right after lunch i mean it wasn't scary like that but there were a few times when i thought i lost my children <laughs> you know in the corn maze and so the new rule was, look, we, we're going to have to stay together. Just stay with me. The can't just be running off. And so you can imagine, you know, my little mommy heart <laughs> when I couldn't find them anymore. And so that was kind of scary. Um, but we eventually got out. But it was obviously. <laughs> but it was $10 per person. And then we got $10 worth of pumpkins to take home. So 40 bucks and the gas because it was like 30 minutes away. And... So it wasn't really overspending because I just used the additional 20, you know, because we had set aside the 20 and then the other 20 in cash, I just pulled from like the gas and the grocery envelopes, like whatever was left over from that. Still, you know, in our world, um, you know, what's been our norm, that's a lot like of extra spending. So that was October 5th. Then on October 6th, my car wouldn't start. You know, it was a Friday. It was the day that the kids and I do grocery shopping. We go to the bank first. We get our little cash for the gas and the groceries. And we had our little reusable bags all ready to go for Aldi. And, you know, we load up, we buckle in, and the car wouldn't start. Like, ugh. My husband ended up calling out from his second job to help. And he was able, like, to get it to crank up. It took a while. <laughs> but, y'all, you know, this isn't our first rodeo we've gone through old cars so we concluded because this has happened before we've concluded that it was either the battery or the alternator or the starter one of those three things so he took it to AutoZone because you know they do that kind of free check you know and we were praying like it was just the battery like just a battery issue would be a lot easier than alternator and starter and it turns out it was so you'll see here for whatever reason our battery was was corroded like it looked horrible like i'm not completely sure why like we we gave a jump to a neighbor like months ago sometime in the summer and i'm thinking maybe that had something to do with it but anyways we just got a new battery and the AutoZone guy he said we'll probably have to replace like the positive side of the battery you know you have a positive and negative the positive i guess was worse looking and he said like in a few months you probably have to replace it so we ended up paying for all of that out of our emergency fund so here we go income for this week was only my husband he brought in six hundred nineteen dollars and seventy six cents this is from his part-time job at an after school program. He called out a few times and this is why this is kind of lower. And then we had $9.60 in rollover. And that brought our income, total income for the week to $629.36. So going to the 
expenses now giving 75 groceries 175 gas we did ninety dollars and one cent so um so oh yeah i ended up going to that event i had mentioned from the last video it was an event on october 5th you know my birthday and i needed gas to get home from that event so i that's where that one cent came from like I, I went to the gas tank and just used my card instead of cash so i didn't click it off quick enough so i got that one cent but i said i was going to share with y'all so the event was a book launch book launch party it was for dr john deloney's new book um if you don't know dr john is the personality personality on the radio on the ramsey show what am i saying and so Ramsey Solutions is based in Nashville and that's, you know, we live in the area and a friend had an extra ticket and she just like asked and I was like, yes. So we went, it was fun. It was a long day slash night, but it was fun. All right. So this potluck thing, we put aside $15 for that. Like I said before, we weren't going to do no more birthdays, baby shower, no nothing. But this was with our church <laughs> on Sunday. And so I used the $15 to buy ingredients for a mac and cheese and a sweet potato pot, which ended up basically being a waste because, you know, I work every weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And on Sunday mornings, I am, I guess the word is zonked. Like I'm just through, like two through like it's it's really hard like I get home around like 1 or 1 30 in the morning uh, because I close which is a bunch of cleaning and restocking and all that and then church in the morning like Sunday school we go to Sunday school that's at nine and normally I'm dragging myself out of bed by like 7 30 you know to help with the kids all that stuff do here but I also had to cook this Sunday for this potluck thing and I should have just brought something simple like thinking back I would have done like a vegetable like corn or something I would have got a few bags of frozen corn and cut up some apples and brought a thing of caramel dip like I could have just done that because they asked for a side in a, in a dessert and they already had the meat and stuff you know provided so looking back I'm kicking myself because I didn't I didn't do that like I could have just done something simple but I, I just I bit off more than I can chew and I missed like a lot of the church service and I didn't even finish the pot like I got ingredients for it and it went to waste I mean technically it's not a waste because my kids are eating it like or in two <laughs> and they have no complaints you know obviously so it wasn't a waste but especially since like this 15 wasn't even enough for the ingredients I had to use some of our grocery money in order to buy it and then I didn't even use it so Anyway, so here we go. Internet, it came out on the 8th and it was $65.34. Electricity was due on the 9th and that was $141.85. All right, so Canva comes out. I'm not sure when, but it's $14.19. And then web hosting. $29.29 and Tin Whistle. All right, so this is for our homeschool group. Surprise, surprise, we're still spending money on, <laughs> on school stuff. Um, so my children already had one because they, they've been doing it, but this is the first year that I'm actually helping out. And so I needed one. So our group that we do, we follow this curriculum and there's a music unit and it involves a Tin Whistle, which is like a little starter instrument almost like a recorder but not you know it's not made out of plastic so anyways that was fifteen dollars and thirty cents you know the whistle plus the shipping hopefully it'll be here by this weekend all right buffer so it's not the normal 10 we're bringing it down to seven dollars and 68 cents and you'll see why we had to do that <laughs> we also really needed to rebuild the emergency fund and bring it back to a thousand we're down to seven hundred ninety two dollars and fifty one cents so for the emergency fund we really need two hundred seven dollars and forty nine cents for emergency fund 
rebuild. But as it is, you know, our income was only $629.36. After the buffer, that's how much our expenses were, $629.36. Um, there's no more money left, like ain't none. So nothing is going towards rent this week, or excuse me, oh my gosh, like, nothing is going towards debt this week. <laughs> Super disappointing, like, I feel bad about it, but... I'm just going to use it as motivation to keep this from happening again. So we'll see how next week goes. We should have more income and Lord willing. Until then, wherever you are on your debt-free journey, keep at it.